You have 9 million things to get done on your to-do list. And in a world where everything has to be done now, where do I begin? In this video, I'm going to go over how to take control back over time. So get ready for management of time. Time blocks. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel for videos on education, entertainment, and enlightenment. When anxiety hits you to get things done, believe it or not, time is controlling you. More specifically, tasks are controlling you. So to break that control, you must learn to control time by creating habits. One of those habits that you should be building is restriction on time. To start, set up a clock, maybe for 10 minutes. Give or take. When the alarm goes off, stop what you're doing and move on to the next thing. Because it's about saying yes to your life and no to things. So simplistically saying, if you have a list of three things and you set your alarm for 10 minutes, you work on the first thing for 10 minutes. Boop, 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 boop. Alarm goes off, you stop, you move on to the second thing for 10 minutes. Boop, 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 boop. Then you stop and you move on to the third thing. And alarm goes off. Boop, 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 boop. And your work day is done on your to-dos. The process of time blocks is taking control back over your time. Things don't necessarily need to get done today. If they do, you just started them far too late in the, in the week or the month or the day. You should set your to-do list into priorities. Because mastering your time blocks is about organizing your to-do list. Now, the way I figured out how to organize my to-do list and to set up my time blocks, I first have to set up my time blocks. I personally like to have two brainstorming blocks, one at the beginning of my day and one at the end of my day. Then I have three task blocks dedicated to physical tasks, such as managing my money, marketing, and also researching. Then I give myself two networking blocks. This is dedicated to follow-ups, introductions, inspirational text messages, and setting up hangouts. A to-do list can be a million items long, and it's not necessarily there to show yourself, wow, how am I ever going to get all this done? A to-do list is more about writing down what needs to get started. You have to change your vocabulary and the way you look at things. A to-do list is not about what needs to get done. It's about what needs to be started. I utilize my first brainstorming block to organize the importance of this to-do list. I will select three major tasks and place each one into one task block. Then I find six individuals that I need to interact with in one way or another for networking. And I place three into one block and three into the other networking block. If I so happen to finish all my given tasks on that to-do list, that have been organized into my time blocks, I'll start at the top of the do list and I'll just go down. And you know what? I will also probably end up adding to that list and that's okay. And of course, for any time sensitive items, they should always be placed at the top of the list and given priority. And keep in mind, working on last minute items is a you problem. You have to organize your time successfully. If I am giving you a task today that's due in two weeks, don't wait until the day before. If I'm giving you a task that is due in two months, don't wait a week before. Start that task. Start that task. Because time management is all about getting things started, not necessarily about finishing things in one sitting. Now, for me to keep a steady pace going, I like to do 60 minute blocks, but you can choose to do anything from 10, 15, 20, 30, even 45 minute blocks. I never go more than 60 minutes. And I also can't do any given task twice in one day. To me, it's one and done. So I can start that task. And if I am not finished with it in 60 minutes, I will stop for the day on that particular task. But the next day, I will go back to that and work on it for another 60 minutes. The concept of time management is about starting many things. And then over time, they will accomplish themselves just through natural order. But you're in control of the tasks. The tasks are not in control of you. It's important to remain in control of your life. You choose what, where, and when you want to do things. Learn to say yes to your life and no to tasks. Things will get accomplished, trust me. If you do a little each day, they are bound to get finished. But you need to take control of your day so you can live. Work is work. I'm a workaholic. 
you still have to find time for you and your family and your friends. And you know what? Here's a little secret that people don't really tell you. Your to-do list should never get finished. It should always be growing. If you finish your to-do list, then you're not working on your brainstorming. There's always something to do. And no matter what, no matter how much it grows, no matter how big it is, you are in control of it. When it overwhelms you, that's you allowing the anxiety of the things that must get done to take control of your brain. But you must live. It just so happens you have these things you can start. Thank you for watching this video and uh, supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share along with subscribe for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you share the video, remember to at Thomas J. Belez and I will happily share your stuff in return. As always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And when you can, look around at the people you stand with. You want to start working together so you can grow together and therefore rise together. Hey, by the way, do you have what it takes to make a right left here? I do, you punk. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Zang. Oh dear.